This is my new small compact digital camera. It's advertised as being suitable for old people, children, students, etc. Uh, I think it's a fairly basic camera, but let's have a quick look and see what it's like. So it comes packed in one of these little fold out boxes. Here is the camera itself. Uh, you'll notice that there's a um, tripod mount on the bottom. Not all cameras I discovered recently have those. And here is the battery compartment where there's also space for the uh, SIM card. It uses a standard SD card. There's no battery fitted. That's because this camera comes with two batteries, so they haven't fitted either of them. Quick flyby of the controls on this camera. So at the top here, you've got the wide angle and telephoto zoom controls. Here, you've got the mode button. At the moment, it's in uh, still mode. If I press the mode button once, it goes into video. Again, it goes into playback where I can see things I've just done. And then it goes into the camera settings mode where you set up languages and the date and time and things like that, and format the card, that sort of thing, camera settings. And then once more, and you're back into the still mode. Down here, there's a button which takes a shortcut to what I think of as the shooting menu where you can look at various things to do with shooting photographs like this is the scene selection for example auto will do for a lot of things but you also get uh, night uh, and uh, I'm not quite sure what that one is and uh, landscape oh so that's just normal portrait I think and this one here is portraits with the backlight behind and so on so uh, lots of different useful things there and there are other settings in there as well. Some of them have got shortcuts here. So this uh, direction key button here, the one in the middle is the select button for selecting things in the menu. Um, this one here takes you to um, first mode. You can see the icon for the photograph change to a bunch of folders, one on top of the other, which don't show up quite so well in the video, but still. Uh, this turns on the flash unit. The flash unit stays on all the time so that uh, you know people's eyes and so on can adjust. That might be quite a good idea, I suppose. And uh, then this one here uh, uses the timer. There's two seconds there, five, ten, and back to the timer being off. Um, down the bottom here is a delete button, which you can use to delete things when you're in view mode if you want to. So on the side here, there's the anchor point for the lanyard and there's the A to B uh, charger and data transfer lead. Um, I did manage to connect it to my uh, computer, but you need to avoid plugging it into a USB 3 port. I found that transfer was just too slow, so I took the memory card out and put it into my computer. Uh, so on the front there, you've got the um, lens and that's where the flash unit is. As you can see, it's a 44 megapixel, but by default, it's set to less than that, which is sensible, of course, because your eyes are only four megapixels. And finally, on the bottom here, you've got the tripod mount, and this is the cover for the battery compartment and for the, where the memory card is. Oh, you know, at the top, finally, finally, you've got the on-off button and the um, shooting button. So uh, that one it, uh, obviously opens and closes the shutter, and that one here turns the thing on and off. So if you press it for a short period of time, So, we get an instruction manual, um, and yeah, I can read the instruction manual with my intermediate glasses on, but I think I might put my reading glasses on to have a quick read through it to find out what I need to know before I start using the camera. Here are the two uh, batteries, obviously normal um, lithium-ion polymer batteries, 3.7 volts, so 700 milliamp hour, which should allow the camera to run for quite a long time. This is the lanyard, which there's a lanyard thing for on the side of the camera. So here is the A to Mini B um, cable. And here is one of these little soft <coughs> carry pouches, which is a great thing for keeping the camera uh, safe in your pocket so it doesn't get scratched and so on, and you can pull it tight. Um, so, yeah, basically looks quite good. It is certainly a very basic camera, but I suspect it's probably got quite a lot of features to get to know and the display is quite a reasonable sized one. So that's where the connectors on the battery are. And if I look inside, I can see that's where the contacts are. So that tells me which way round the battery needs to go. 
And there's a little springy thing there. I'm not quite sure what that's for. Let's see what happens when we try and put the cat battery in. If it goes out, just pull the lever there and out it comes. So here's the camera charging up, and as you can see, there's a red light there telling me that it's charging. So what I'm going to do is charge one battery, take it out, and then pop the other battery in and charge that. So I've got two fully charged batteries. So a few sample photos. This was done indoors with flash uh, last night. This was uh, this morning at the hospital with plus one exposure because of the light sky background. This is with normal exposure. These are just some zooms. That zoomed out. Uh, then they're zoomed in to the end of the orange bit of zoom, which I guess is how far they recommend you zoom. And this is zoomed in as far as it will go. I think they're all reasonably okay photos. And then here is a burst mode demonstration. A car was driving up the hill, so it gives you an idea of how quick or slow, depending on which way you look at it, the, the uh, burst mode is. Uh, there's the final shot there. You get three in burst mode. And finally, here is a short uh, movie clip that I took. This morning. Uh, this is just outside the hospital. Quick sweep round to go from light to dark. And then down the bottom there, amazing how quickly they can set up a testing laboratory that's only been there for a couple of weeks. 